Hello dear students, a warm welcome to our English class. How are you all? Yes, all are good? Okay. Now, today we will start our class with an action song. All are ready for that? Okay. Then, stand in your place. Okay. Repeat after me and show the action. Okay. Let's start. Ram bam bam param bam. 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 Clap your hands dear, clap your hands. Clap your hands dear, clap your hands. Ram bam bam param bam. 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 Shake your hands dear, shake your hands. Shake your hands dear, shake your hands. Shaking means? Ah, you give shake hand to your friends, right? That's it, okay? Shake your hands dear, shake your hands. Shake your hands dear, shake your hands. Ram bam bam param bam. 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 Nod your head dear, nod your head. Nod your head dear, nod your head. Ram bam bam param bam. 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 Yes, do. Do after me, okay? Then, slap your thigh dear, slap your thigh. Slap your thigh dear, slap your thigh. Ram bam bam param bam. 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 Okay? We can do many actions with this. Okay? You like the songs, dears? Okay. Good. Now, let's enter into the lesson. Okay? Today, we are going to learn a or an interesting story. Do you like to listen stories? Yes, all like to listen. Okay, good. Now, today we are going to learn a story. Okay? So, it was a very interesting story. And the main character in this story is a merchant's son. Okay? A merchant's son. Merchant means what? Else, a man who owns a shop or a businessman. Right? Else, he goes to other places and he will sell something, whatever he, his business is. Right? So, that is a merchant. So, the main character of this story is who? A uh, merchant's son. Okay. Come. All of you open your textbooks now. Take lesson 2. The title of our lesson is A Merchant's Son. A Merchant's Son. Okay. A long time ago, there lived a merchant. His name was Shivaraj. He had a handsome young man. So, long time ago, long, long years ago, there lived a merchant. And his name uh, was Shivaraj. What is the merchant's name? Yes, Shivaraj. Okay. This merchant had... A son, a young son, okay. He was a handsome son, okay. One day, his young son had bought a costly book. But the book contained only one verse. You get what is destined for you. So one day, this merchant's son bought a new book, okay. Bought a new book. The book was very costly. And what is the speciality for this book? This book contains only one verse. Verse means, see? Verse means a stanza. Verse means a stanza. Verse means a stanza. 
answer. Okay. When the merchant saw the costly book having only one verse, he thought that his son was a fool and became angry. So the merchant saw the book and he was very angry. Why he was very angry? Because this book contained only one verse. What is that? Yes, you get what is destined for you. So the merchant got very angry. He said angrily, how can you do well in business when you buy a costly book containing only one verse? Get out of my house and never show me your face again. So the merchant was very angry and he shouted, how can you dare to buy a book to give cost, uh, a heavy cost and why did you buy such a uh, cheap book and how dare you? How will you look after the business? And get out of my house. Don't show your face to me again. And he uh, throw him outside the house. Okay. The young man was utterly dejected for being driven out of his father. So the young man was utterly seriously dejected. Dejected means see, sad and depressed. Dejected means sad and depressed. Okay. So the young man was seriously uh, dejected for being driven out from his house. Okay. He left his house along with his only book. So he took his book and he left the house. He learned the verse well and kept repeating it all the way. So he learned the verse. What is the verse? You get what is destined for you. This verse he repeated again and again. And he by hearted the verse. Okay. After traveling a long way. He arrived in a village. So he uh, walked and walked. And he traveled a long distance. Then he reached a village. A small village. Okay. The villagers asked him his name and he replied from the book, you get what is destined for you. So when we uh, go to a strange place, the uh, people nearby will ask to you, ask to us our name, right? So here same thing happened and the people gathered against him and asked his name. Then he said the same thing. What did he say? You get what is destined for you, okay? Thus, the young man became known as, you get what is destined for you. So, the people thought that this is his name and whoever asked his name, he gives the same reply. Okay. So, he was known for what? Ah, you get what is destined for you. Okay. Destined. See. Destined means chosen for a particular purpose. Destined, chosen for a particular purpose. So, destined means chosen for a particular purpose. Okay. One day, the princess of the country who visited a festival saw a handsome prince and immediately fell in love with him. She asked her attendant to find a way to send a message to the handsome prince. One day, the princess of the um, place, the princess of the country, visited a function. There in the function, she met a handsome young prince. Okay? And she attracted this prince and she fell in love with him. And she tried to give him a note to this uh, prince. And she take the help of the attendant. Attendant means what? Attendant means uh, uh, we know that in the palace um, so many servants are there. Right? So see here. Attendant. Servant. Attendant means servant. Okay? So these princes need the help of an attendant. Okay? 
So she take the help of an attendant and what she done? See what happened. She wrote a note and gave it to her attendant. The attendant gave the note to the young merchant's son by mistake. So by mistake what happened here? The princess not written a note and she given the note to the attendant. The attendant what done? Yes, by mistake, she passed the uh, message or not to whom? Ah, the handsome merchant son. Okay. He read the letter in which the princess wrote, Please meet me in the castle. You will find a rope hanging from one of the windows which will lead you to my room. So, what is the matter written there. So it was, please meet me in my room. This is the thing that she wrote. Okay. And what she wrote that? Yes, outside my house or outside my house there will be a window. And near the window I will put a rock. And you can hang the rock. And you can get into my room. This is the thing that the princess wrote in the message, okay, in the paper, okay. He thought, I will honor the wishes of the princess to meet me in person. So he thought, who here he? Yes, the merchant's son. The merchant's son thought that, ah, I will honor the wishes of the princess to meet me in person, okay. Now, now the princess sent me a note. I want to respect that. So he decided to go and meet the princess. Okay. When he climbed up the rock and entered the princess room, it was very dark. So this poor man came near to the window and he climbed up through the rock. Then what happened? He entered into the princess room. There in the princess room, it was very dark. No light in the room. Okay. The princess thought he was that prince whom she had, whom she had seen at the festival and received him warmly. So the princess thought that this man is whom she was waiting for. She thought he was a prince, okay? And what she done? She welcomed this man and received him warmly, okay? She served him food and drinks and ensured his comfort. So, she served him food and given comfort to this man, okay? She said, I have deeply fallen in love with you. I will choose no other man as my husband except you. She said to this man, who? Ah, this merchant's son. What did she say? Ah, I deeply love you and I want to marry you. You tell me, what is your opinion? Huh? Except you, I won't marry anyone. I fall in love with you. So, ah, this is happened here. Would you please tell me what you have in your mind? Huh? Will you please tell me what you have in your mind? She asked to this. Ah, merchant son. The merchant son replied. You get what is destined for you. Again the same answer. The merchant son replied. What is the reply he given? You get what is destined for you. Hmm? She was surprised to hear the prince. To speak so. And immediately her room was enlightened. So hearing this, the princess was very surprised. What is this? Huh? What is he speaking about? And immediately what happened, you know? Ah, the room was enlightened. The light was on now. She got furious. When she realized he was not the handsome prince. Ah, immediately she noticed that he was not the prince. Furious. Furious means 
extremely angry furious means extremely angry okay so the princess was very furious extremely she was very angry and you can guess what happened there right yes she realized that this man was not his prince okay she thought him to be she ordered him out of her room and she ordered get out of my room who call you here and you are not the person that i am waiting for she shouted and she chased this man outside okay the young man was sad as being treated in such a manner without being at fault and walked to a nearby temple he decided to spend the night there and fell asleep the young man was very sad really very sad thing right students yes what mistake he had done here did he done any mistake no he didn't do any fault but who the attendant by mistake given the letter to this poor man right and he was very sad and he decided to uh, go and sleep in the temple nearby okay the temple remained abandoned and the night watchman there used to carry out all the task of ill repute during the night so the temple remained abandoned abandoned means left away abandoned means left away means it was night so all the people all went out and here now the watchman is what uh, are uh, making uh, the room he wanted to lock the uh, temple right so he was in that work so and the watchman there used to carry out all the task of ill repute ill repute means the state of being held in low esteem by the public okay the state of being held in low esteem by the public that is ill repute so here um, this temple is not in a good condition that's why uh, it was not uh, famous uh, now here the building was not good that's why okay so and also these um, watchmen wanted to lock the um, temple and he was ready to go to his home okay now he noticed this young man okay this temple is old and broken you may sleep in my room no now uh, this um, watchman said to this um, what uh, merchant son oh my dear you don't sleep here this building is not uh, very good it is in an old condition it was old and broken and you please come to my house you can stay there this night and uh, i can sleep there okay thus the young man went to his house but he made a mistake and got into the wrong room see here what happened this young man went to the uh, along with whom watchman here also he done the mistake it is not his fault by mistake and it was happening what he will do no he went to who watchman's daughter's room okay when the watchman's daughter was waiting for her would be husband to arrive oh here the watchman's daughter is waiting for her would be husband okay he told that he will come on today so she was uh, ready for uh, him and she was ready with the garland also why in order to welcome this man okay in the darkness at the night of the night the watchman's daughter mistook him as her to be husband now she was mistook and what happened she thought that this man was her uh, would be husband and she and exchanged garlands in front of the picture of god and what she done garland garland means see see the picture this is garland she exchanged garland to this uh, merchant son 
ओके अकॉर्डिंग टू द हिंदू कस्टम इफ यू एक्सचेंज द गार्लेंस वाट इज ओवर द मैरेज विल ओवर राइट सी गार्लेंस व्रेथ्स ऑफ फ्लावर्स एंड लीव्स गार्लेंस व्रेथ्स ऑफ फ्लावर्स एंड लीव्स ओके सो हियर वाट हैपन Ah, this watchman's daughter, by mistake, she thought that this merchant's son was her would-be husband, and she put on the garland to this poor man. Okay, where? Ah, in the presence of their god. We all have uh, gods in our house. No, we do the pujas and all, right? So, in the shelf or some almara or the some other places. we will do this puja so this girl took this man near to their god and she uh, put the garland against this man okay thus according to the traditions they got married see so poor man don't know anything right so according to the hindi tradi hindu tradition ah uh, if we exchange the garlands what the marriage will be over so that is no okay students hope you all understand this lesson we will continue this lesson in our next class okay have a nice day students